You know what happens to the basement? It fills up with water and it floods. Ugh, I think I might lose my mind today. This is the last you are worth it message with Polar, huh? Look at Whoa. this. Oh That's my so god. Cool. For me, it kind of feels ridiculous to send the kids to school for an hour and a half. And they have the option to go or not to go. And they wanted to go because they wanted to say goodbye to their teachers. Because yesterday they were just in class having fun with their friends and everything. And they didn't really think about saying goodbye to the teachers. So they wanted to go back for the hour and a half this morning so they could say goodbye to their teachers. Which is very important because the teachers do so much for those kids. They need the love and recognition. <laughs> You can just sleep for a little while. <laughs> okay. But what do you want for breakfast? Grammy pancakes. I can totally make Grammy pancakes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good night. <laughs> Grammy pancakes. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Don't keep your sick. <laughs> Is officially started. Yeah! Oh, summer. Woo Kiko finished eating and then he came out front. And oh my goodness! What did you find? Bug. It's alive. Let's see. Put it in your palm so I can see it. It's Guess a what? bug. Guess what it is? Huh. This is a cocoon. Cocoon. I know. Daddy Wait, do you know what's inside me. of it? What? It's a caterpillar turning into a moth. It's cool, huh? Where'd it's you awesome, find it? huh? It's looking. Uh, Upside down. Yeah. Have you been picking the strawberries? Have you been picking the strawberries? Yep. You've been picking the strawberries? They're supposed to grow. Not be green. If you pick them when they're green, then they're not gonna ever turn red and be able to be eaten. Mommy's gonna be mad at you when she finds but, out. But, um, these ones are growing. Yeah, but guess what? Huh? Those ones are growing faster and you picked them and now they're dead. And now the birds will eat them. It's my pet. It's his pet. All right, Giga, let's go clean up our plates. Canyon, no, 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 Canyon. Look at this, Canyon. Turn off the hose, please, right now. Thank you so much for your help. Turn it the other way, other way. Let me tell you something though. Down in this hole right here is our basement. That's our basement down there. That's where we keep the toys. That's where Branson's bedroom is. That's the basement. If you put the hose in this, you know what happens to the basement? It fills up with water and it floods. Hooray for the first day of summer. No, 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 no. Please, please, please do not turn on the hose again, okay? Now I get to go look in the basement. I really hope I found it early enough. We've been so busy this morning. It's noon and I'm just barely sitting down 
to eat breakfast. And I don't think this is the one. I think it's Branson's room. It doesn't look too bad right now. No water coming in here. Oh my gosh. I was just sitting down to eat breakfast at noon. I was like, why is there water on? The boys are upstairs working. The girls are out front pulling weeds. Where would water be coming from? And then I was like, oh, Canyon probably has the hose on. And then I looked out the window and he had the hose in the window well. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I might lose my mind today. I haven't got a ton of sleep this week just because we've been staying up super late and one night I slept terribly. So I just, and we've been so busy. We have so much going on and we're going out of town. And so we have so much to do before we go out of town. And I'm just like, <laughs> I can't have a flooded house because my son put, his put a hose in the window well. So I'm gonna take a minute here and just relax for a minute. Eating. You guys hungry? Sizzler. Yes. Sizzler. Sizzler. What? Yes. Are you hungry? Not actually yeah. eating. Oh, <laughs> Daddy's so hungry. He's gonna eat you. <gasps> Two minutes. That's all it took. Danielle has a hard time going out to restaurants because she doesn't want to be the person that buys the most expensive meal. <laughs> I don't like the it. only thing is, is it's her birthday and she can choose anything on the menu. She gets to choose anything she wants and she can't decide because she still doesn't want to buy the most expensive meal. It's okay. If you want steak and lobster, you can have steak and lobster. She's always like, what are you getting? Because she wants to know how much my food costs <laughs> so she doesn't get something more than that. Get what you want, yo. It's your birthday. I want the lobster steak with the king crab and steak and a colossal shrimp and steak. If you're gonna eat all that, you can no. have it. No. <laughs> so, me and my friendles are hanging out. We were going to have a campfire, but then it started blowing. The wind started blowing outside and the thunder started coming and it started raining. And so, it's really hard to start a fire. and it's really hard to start a fire. Anyway, so we're gonna play apples to apples, possibly tell scary stories because that's just yes! a thing with our friends. For some reason, we're always like oh, scary story, and then most likely watch Captain Marvel, or if we find 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 a better scary movie to watch, which we probably won't because all the scary moves today are dumb. So everyone who's here is Belle <laughs> and bear. Becca <laughs> and Weefa and Ellie. Well, no, it starts with and they're talking about stuffed animals. So I just found this gem downstairs. Look at that. Danielle, do you know what this is? Hey, you can't, you can't <laughs> read it. Is it tape? <laughs> there's, there's a word for Savannah. Do you know what this is? No. What this is? As I'm gonna is it Thomas the, the Train? Night. No, I'm gonna what? wake up in the middle Thomas of the night and be train? like, oh my gosh, that's what it's called. Shh, I, know I don't think she knows. I yeah, it's Thomas Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Do you right. know what this is called? Like what? A tape. Nope. It's a VHS. Oh, you were supposed to spoil it. Oh, sorry. Way to go. It's VHS. Well, it's a VHS. You're asking me. Is that the first time you've ever seen one of these? How's it work? Look, it's not like a CD where you just put it in. They're like, you have to rewind it and fast forward and all those things. It's ancient. I said, I'm glad I don't live in those days, Mike. Oh, this is going with my vinyl records. Okay guys, it is time to move the Tannerite's wall. Look at all this stuff. Edge to edge on the Tannerite's wall is full of letters and pictures and all these different things that you guys have sent us. It's awesome. We still come down here and read them like, just like look at all those. Look at all that. All this space, all completely filled with your guys' letters and your guys' everything. It is awesome. 
but it is time to take this wall and take it down but we are not throwing any of this stuff away because it just it means so much to us it means so much to you guys we can feel your guys' love through these pictures and these letters and stuff like that that's why we keep them here that's why we love them so much so yeah we would not get rid of these things we would not get rid of any of this stuff because it's it's from you guys it's from all of you guys that have supported us through the years this has been up for two and a half years yeah two and a half years so a really long time and awesome to see all this stuff. I love it. We have several exciting, not so exciting things happening. I guess it's kind of mixed, everything mixed into one. It's really late. We always say that, right? Well, Polar is in for the night. Polar is uh, currently collarless. He doesn't have his collar on him. He's all clean. He took a nice bath earlier and um, he is sleeping in the house with the kids tonight because unfortunately this is the last night that um, is Polar is going to be with us. And so um, as we have made the decision, as you guys know, to take care of that tomorrow. So um, all the, that negative and, and hard part aside, here's the exciting part. It's still Danielle's birthday. She did not get her birthday presents from us yet. And so we've been holding off all day to give Danielle her birthday presents. And here we go. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I don't have any wrapping paper, so she gets bags. That's okay. They're not even gift bags, they're just bags. <laughs> Thank you. To Danielle from Savannah. Made with love. <laughs> it says right there, made with love on the flower. Dear Danielle, I love you so much. Happy birthday. You are worth it. I love you. I love to be around you and talk or text or anything else. I hope you can play Legos or Barbies or something with me soon. I hope that you had a great birthday and you can have a great 15th year of your life. Good luck on driving. Love, Savannah. Happy birthday, Danielle. There's a little picture. Is that, is that Charlie? No, that's a red fox. A red fox? Oh, I was like, is that Charlie? And there's your two favorite colors right there. Oh, what is look it? at that. And Lizzie, what origami is this? It's is an it? origami cup. An origami, can I drink from it? Mm -mm. You'd only be able to drink from it I once. love you, Danielle. Happy birthday, Danielle. Love, Lizzie. Is this a red fox? It's Fred Freddy, fox. Freddy the fox. Freddy the fox. Open me. Do I open it? Mm -hmm. Love Lizzie. Red, Danielle, and blue. Thank Here you. And for last. <laughs> Whoa, what is it? Can you tell me what it is? What's happening here? Asbury, what is that? Splash Mountain. It's Splash Mountain? That's mm. cool. What is, what's happening here? Um, it's the stuff in the ride. Oh, it's the Splash Mountain ride. Oh, I like it. Thanks, buddy. Let's go. Oh, thanks. Do you want hugs too? I love you. You're welcome. You're thank you. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Thanks. Oh, Gigo. Hmm. What is it? I think Alexa might have already told me what this is. <laughs> she did. I know. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I'm that? so excited about this. Look at I'm this. So jealous. <gasps> Look at Whoa. this. Oh That's my so gosh. Cool. <laughs> Look at that. Do you know what it is? Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> it's the jacket everyone except Captain Marvel wears. It's their time traveling jackets. See? Oh yeah, their time traveling their jackets. Their time heist. It's the time heist jacket. Sweet, thanks! Is this one from you? Or are you saying it's from you by that? So, yep. yep. Okay. Then can I have a hug first? You want me to open it first? Oh, open thanks, it. buddy. Now open it. Okay, I'll now open it. Dude! Pants? No! It's the Captain Marvel dress I was looking at! Whoa! Look at that! That is super cute. Wow. Look at that! I could wear this and this on top of it. <laughs> now you got to get guys. Your shoes. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. We were standing there next to the dress. You may already know about it. <laughs> Hang there and your mom's like, you're like this far away. The, f the camera far away. And she's like, we should come back and get this. And I'm like, she's right there. <laughs> and you heard, didn't you? See, yes. Sarah, she needs to learn. She has a whole lifetime, I know, but she needs to learn to be a better, sneaky person. Sarah, 
<laughs> She's not anyway, even there. I was like, I, do you remember I said I'm like, I'm already got, I, I'm already on it. I got it. But she totally gave it away because Danielle was literally this. Danielle was this far away, and and Sarah, I was like, like, Sarah leans over. She's like, "We should totally come back and get that dress." And I'm like, <laughs> "Sarah." <laughs> anyway, we did it. Go back. Your mom went back. She made it happen. So well, thank at least you. Danielle told us what she wanted, so we could actually know what to get. So, yeah. okay, it is cake time. Happy The end of my birthday has come, and that means the next day must follow, huh, Polar? Hi, huh, buddy. It's crazy to me to think that I'm 15 years old now. That's like three years away from being an adult and being able to move out and all that stuff, which is really weird. Like, I kind of started thinking about this at my cousin's wedding, like, and I saw my cousin up there, like, my guy cousin, Jacob, and I was like, oh, he's all grown up. Just like joking around for a minute, and then I was like, wait, one day, we're all gonna be going to each other's weddings, and that day is very soon, and then our sibling is going to be saying, oh, we're so grown up, and then we're gonna go to their weddings. It's just crazy, we're all, growing up faster and then we went to the seminary graduation and all the kids that were up there graduating I was like I remember when they were little studs in primary <laughs> when they were still just in primary which is under the age of 12 so I remember when they were just like 8 through 11 ish and it's just weird to think of how many people I know and how much we and my family like me and my family and people around me are just like growing and we don't we don't recognize it and it's like kind of mind blowing to me and every day goes by and you don't really think about it and then there's some days that come like tomorrow which is are super hard but you'll remember them um, and one day it's gonna be something you maybe tell your own family and say this experience is hard. I know I've been through it, but I'll be able to help you through it because I've been through it. Like, tomorrow, it's gonna be a hard day, but I think for Polar, it's gonna be good because then he won't be suffering and he'll be able to see all of his dog friends that he's had ever since we first got him, like Rocco and Daisy and all of his friends. And he'll be able to see his family, which is probably something he's missed for a long time. That's something I've been thinking about too. It's like, I remember I was thinking about it the other night. I remember when I'd go outside, because when I was like eight or nine, I'd go outside every single day, every single morning, I'd wake up and just go right outside. And I'd race Polar around the backyard and he'd run with me. And now he can hardly even walk, which is sad. And he probably misses running, and so that's another thing. He'll probably be happy about tomorrow, even though we're not, we're trying to help him out anyway. But. That's our times that are changing right now. That's our time right now is changing because we're not gonna have to pull around anymore. So this is the last you are worth it message with Polar, huh? Wanna say it? Ready? We love you guys. We will see you tomorrow. Whatever that means, we'll see you tomorrow. And yeah, we love you guys so much. And as always, you are worth it. We love you guys. You say bye, buddy? Can you say bye? <laughs>